In the past several years that I have been working with the influencer model, and throughout this past week, as I have responded to uh, quite a few uh, requests for impact or feedback on the six source of influ influence matrix. Um, I keep on coming back to one key point that I, I really want to emphasize and stress, and that is it is called an influencer strategy or the influencer model, and it's all about influence. And your priority in developing this influencer strategy is to focus less on authority to get things done and more on influence, motivation, or enabling or encouraging others to do the key vital behaviors that are going to make that behavioral change. It's really about creating the environment, the circumstances, and helping others to move in that direction as opposed to asking them to do so or making them to do so or having or expecting people to fall into compliance right so it really is about creating an influence and when you take a look at the language here in these areas right it, it's not about I will identify or get people to do this it's not I will or we will it is looking at identifying ways or finding ways to connect, motivating people by creating a mission, you know, taking great plain, uh, pains rather to get people to buy in rather than issuing mandates, right? So when you look at the language of the six sources of influence, it is really about providing that facilitation, helping to guide and to direct, you know, giving people guided practice, um, making sure that they're enabled to engage in certain ways, designing learning experiences to help them be successful, um, having people participate in activities, right? Having people participate, not requiring them to or making them participate they will do this it's creating the environment that enables participation to happen in terms of collaboration so when you look over the matrix just look at the language here establish the support had all members of the management team um, uh, coach and guide and model towards this new behavior um, I think where you have a little bit stronger language making it clear to everyone that these behavior changes are something important that top management wants to have right um, so it's a it's a lot less about the authoritative perspective as to what you are going to do as a change agent to the environment and the circumstances that are created where you look at motivating the individuals the key is the person who you want to have join you in your innovation plan has to choose to do so and you know you can create the circumstances uh, but you have to give them the uh, ability to make that choice and you can motivate you can encourage you can inspire um, you can identify different things that can help them to make those decisions but ultimately they are the ones whose behavior does need to change if they're going to join you you know you have entered into this innovation plan and you've experienced certain things and you know and it was through the DLL program where we've created this environment where we've given you the choice we give you the opportunity yes you have assignments you're doing the, the coursework but at the same time within the structure of the authentic learning opportunities that you have where you have the choice to do certain things you know you have the opportunity to take ownership of those things uh, you find your voice because of that environment you are making the decisions you need to implement the things that we want you to implement well you're doing something similar so you have to create a similar circumstance a similar environment you want to encourage you want to inspire you want to motivate right so take a look at your language if your language is authoritative if it's directional um, I will have them I will do this I will make them do this or I will get them to do it. I will ask them or ask so if you're language is authoritative or control focused as opposed to motivational inspirational encouraging well then you might need to change your focus a little bit and move away from trying to control the change to helping to create the environment where people will be motivated to change and that goes back to this notion of 
influence. This is an influencer strategy. So you are looking at utilizing a wide assortment of things. Structural motivation, structural ability, social motivation, social ability, personal motivation, personal ability, right? But these are all things that are unique to the individual. So you're creating an environment where all these influencers come together. Um, and one of the exciting things about the influencer model is that if you can pull together four or five or six of these sources, six, uh, these sources of influence, or even more because you've got multiple points in each of these areas, if you can get 10 sources of influence working together, you increase your chances of success significantly. And the key thing is, is that it really is about creating that environment, creating that those circumstances, helping to motivate, and using the influence of personal motivation, ability, social ability, per, social motivation, using those influencers to help move people towards those vital behaviors, which will bring you to the result that you want. Greater and increased engagement in the e-portfolio, in, increased participation in the maker spaces, and all those wonderful things that are going to make a difference in your learner's life. So again, think about the fact that you're moving more so towards influencing motivating, encouraging, guiding, inspiring, rather than expecting or asking or even demanding. So keep those things in mind and um, it'll help you with your language and I think it'll help you with your success. One last thing. Um, this is a difficult thing to do. This is difficult. We we are we live in an environment that is very control oriented, control focused. You know, we've got standard assessing. We have to measure up. There's a credentialing model, and and this idea of looking at the whole environment and addressing motivational factors, inspirational factors, influence factors is not something that we normally do. But these are the things that can help you be successful. So chances are you're going to feel uncomfortable, because guess what? I often feel uncomfortable when I'm doing that. And I've been doing this for many years, and I've done this in a variety of different professional settings. I've used this model professionally in my consulting practice in a lot of different places. And it doesn't matter how many times I use it, I still am a little unsure because, guess what? I don't have control. But if you create the right circumstance, the right environment, and if you have the right influence strategy in place, amazing things can happen. So, you know, um, I'd love to say that that discomfort, that uh, that anxiety you might be feeling, you know, that'll go away. Well, sorry, I don't think it will. Um, I, if anything, I think it keeps you honest and it forces you to recognize that you're working with real people and the stakes are high and it's important. So a little bit of anx anxiousness, a little bit of anxiety, I think is par for the course. You'll get used to it. But at the same time, um, as you start to implement things, your model is going to change. There's nothing like a little bit of reality to actually <laughs> throw a curveball into your implementation strategy. So um, as you move into this, you know, you are going to be feeling uncomfortable at times. But trust your planning, trust the model, and uh, it'll work out. And, and you'll live through that anxiety. You'll live through the uh, frustration. Uh, you'll live through some of those things. And, and, and as I've said before, you'll get used to it. Uh, do that, does, does that feeling of uncomfort ever go away? Well, it hasn't for me. <laughs> you might be more fortunate than me, uh, but I, I do worry a little bit uh, about things. So hopefully this video is going to help you to recognize that uh, this is a challenging thing to do. Um, but if you look at the model, look at the language, look at the fact that it's about motivation and influence as opposed to authority, you'll be on the right track.